Hey guys, it's me Anaf and welcome to part 4 of the Learn Discord.py tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how embeds work in Discord.py. So, what are embeds? Well, basically, embeds are a way to format your bot's output or the messages it sends. Like, to make it look good, you'll see what embeds are. Like, there's not a good way to explain what what embeds are. Like, let me show you an example. Uh, how about this? This is an embed. It's not like a normal text, but this is an embed. You can set a lot of things. It has different colors. You can set images. So, this is an example of embeds. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make embeds like this one. So, let's get started with it. And for now, I'm going to be making a command that just sends me an embed. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be showing you guys every single detail about how embeds work and how to make one. So in the last video, I have shown you guys how to make commands in Discord.py. So let me at first make a command at bot.command async def. And let's just do send embed for uh, just for demonstration purposes, just to show you guys how embeds work. So to make an embed, I need to make a variable called embed. So embed is going to be discord dot embed capital E parentheses since it's a function that's in it's going to be returning the embed object. And now title. Now we need to set a title for our event uh, embed. So title is going to be, let's say, test embed embed. So let's say this is going to be a title. Now color is going to be, now you can set a hex color. You can put hex color there, but you can also put different colors like using this, discord.color.blue. Or you can do discord.color.red. Uh, you can do a lot of things. There are a lot of colors for discord.py. You can use a lot of them. But for now, I'm going to do it using discord.color.blue and parentheses. And now let's set a description of the embed. So the con content of the embed. The description is going to be some description that I wrote without even thinking about it how about that so this is going to be my description and i have a good cheat sheet about embeds and i'm going to be leaving the link to this image in the description below so this is going to be the title so the title that we have set will be shown like this the description will be over here and if the title leads to an url then it will be put over here then there are also a lot of fields you can make different fields also the value of the field, field title and value, and these are inline, and then you can make non-inline fields. You can also set a big image for the embed, and you can also set a thumbnail. You can also set footer text, also the timestamp about when the embed was sent, and then the any icon if you like. You can also put an avatar over here, and the author, author name. You can point to any URL, so there are a lot of things you can do with embeds. So I'm going to show you all of them in this video. So for now, this is going to be the title and the description. So let and now if you want to send the embed, you can do await ctx.send. In the last video, I've shown you guys how to send uh send a message. So await ctx.send. But in this case, we have to pass in an argument which is going to be embed equals to the name of our embed variable embed okay so let me position my microphone a bit properly sorry for the noise so this is going to be the send embed function now let's do python pi let's go to the channel and this is from the last video also you guys can find the code from all the videos in my github repository github.com slash yeah, over here. Uh, GitHub.com slash of Jamil Discord.py tutorial. The code for all of the tutorials are over here. Also, after I upload 
this video, I'm going to be putting the code in the GitHub repository. The link will be in the description below. So you guys can check it out. And now let's try to send the embed. So the com command name was set embed. So I can type the prefix send embed. As you can see, it has sent the embed. The color is blue. This is the test embed, the title. And this is the description. Now, let's say I want to add an image over here. So all the image that you add, you can only add one image and it will be positioned over here. So let's add an image. We can do embed.setImage. So this is how you set an image. And the method uh, parentheses now URL equals to and it's going to be a string now let's for now let's use this image or the embed just for demonstration purposes and save you can just type the URL and set the image now let's run the bot again and you send embed the bot's ready as you can see it has sent the image and it's positioned right over here of the embed. Now, how do I set a thumbnail? Well, that's also easy too. You can send, you can do this embed dot set thumbnail. And this is going to be, I have tab nine, which is a good extension for auto completion. It kind of uses a machine learning model. For auto completion and eight x a a c dot png. I forgot to type that, so whatever. So this is going to be the thumbnail. Now let's save the bot, mind again, and you're going to be seeing the thumbnail. So send embed. As you can see, it has the thumbnail over here, and the thumbnail will always be a square shape. So the width and the height will always be the same. Now let's talk about fields. So there are two types of fields. You can set an inline field or a non-inline field. And you can change that only using a Boolean, a Boolean argument. So which is going to be, you can set the inline to be true or to be false. So to add a field you can add a lot of fields if you want to but so you can use embed dot add field and parentheses now the name has to be field one like you can put anything as the name and then the value has to be whatever this is the first field this is the inline field let's make it in line since we're going to be making this field in line so as you can see the fields have their name and this is the value okay so now to make it in line or non in line we have to add an argument so in line equals to true or false if it's false it's not going to be in line so you can't put two or more embeds in the same line if inline is equal to false but if it's true you can put two two three one two three but like you can put a few embed a uh, few fields in the same line so for now let's do inline equals to true let's run the bot and do send embed as you can see this is a field now, we can't be sure if it's inline or not unless we make a new field. So, let's make another field to see if the first field is inline or not. Field 2, this is the second. And this is going to be also inline. Now, let's run the bot again and see what happens. Send embed. As you can see, these fields are in the same line. Now let's make a field that's not in the same line. So embed uh, embed dot add field name has going to be field three 
then the value is going to be this is uh wait this is the third inline field now let's make inline equals to false oh i need to close them and uh, yeah okay so now let's type it out it's field two i need to make it three ah nobody cares about that it's just a test send embed now if you send this as you can see this is in a different line it could be put in the same line if it was true the inline was true but since it's false that's why it's not in the same line now let's talk about authors now authors are basically you can put a big title like this so to do that we can do embed dot set author now the as you can see view studio code shows you the arguments so name is going to be let's say this it uh let's say author's name author's name how about that and now let's say icon url sorry icon url let's make it let's put the bots icon over here the bots icon and to do that we can use the bot object so do bot dot user dot avatar url this is a property of the bot object you can find it in the documentation in the client section let's do discord.py documentation discord.py documentation yeah so this is the link i have it in the description of all videos so you guys can find it now go to client client is basically the bot and you have the user the client user type is client user and the client user has a few properties as you can see the bot since the bot is a client so bot.user it gives you the client user object and the client user object has a few properties mm, let's see if we can find yeah avatar url so returns an asset for the avatar the user has so the asset is basically a cdn asset which means it's a link so since it wants a url the icon url so we are giving it the avatar's url so now let's run the bot and also in the author section you can also put a url let's do my website ah exo's website how about that so it's not mandatory to put a url or an icon but for just showing you how embeds work i'm going to put everything that the embed has to offer so send embed you can customize your embed in any way you want but in this video i'm just showing how it works as you can see the bots icon is over here and also if you hover over here you can click this link and it will take you to the website let's click over here and you're at the website you just uh, put the link for this is Excel's website oh also a new update uh, about exo now you can use the web dashboard if you have the managed server permission in any server okay so let's not talk about exo right now and if you remove the URL then uh, if you send an embed embed if you do that right now as you can see if you hover over it the mouse pointer doesn't turn into a hand okay so the mouse, mouse cursor doesn't turn into a pointer now let's talk about footers so this is the only thing that's left now footers so to make a footer we can do this embed dot set footer now text is basically going to be the text you want over here footer text now let's say this is a footer so do that and let's restart the bot send embed if you send the embed right now as you can see it sends a mess uh, it puts the footer this is a footer now 
you can also put an icon URL in the footer. As you can see, the icon will be put over here. So we can just use the same thing. Icon URL is going to be bot.user.avatar URL. Well, now if you do python bot.py and now do send embed. As you can see, the icon is over here and this is the footer. Now, let's say we want to put a timestamp. Uh, yeah, as you can see, a timestamp like this. You don't have to put the bullet uh, icon manually. You can just put a timestamp, but you don't have to do it. Like, you don't have to type it as a string. Discord.py has a feature for that. That is, you can do embed.timestamp. And this time it's not a... a the method is going to be equal to and for now you have to for this the timestamp uh, property you have to import date time so we have to do from date time import date time so we have to do that and now we have to do date time dot utc now parentheses so this method will return the utc now like the time the UTC time zone. I don't know about other time zones, but almost all bots use UTC now. So this is going to be the timestamp, and make sure to import date time from date time. So from date time, import date time. Now let's run the bot again, and do send embed. As you can see, you didn't need to type all of this as a string, and it's saying that today at 16.53 and it's 4.53 p.m. which is uh, 12 plus 4 is equal to 16 and 53 and it is a proof that I can do math so now like this is it everything you need to know about embeds in discord.py and if you're talking about other libraries like discord.js, Ares, Discordia or any other libraries they have the same embeds, so you don't need to worry about it. So, I hope you understood how to make embeds in Discord.py through this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notifications to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, stay tuned guys, uh, stay tuned guys, while I'm starting. See you guys next time. Bye.